three arrested for numerous thefts, a new voting location approved in the city of Sheboygan. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, November 19th, 2019. Sheboygan police made three arrests regarding several overnight car entries. At approximately 2.45 a.m., an off-duty Sheboygan police officer reported witnessing subjects breaking into a vehicles in the Fellowship neighborhood on the city's northwest side. He was able to obtain a description of the vehicle and license plate number as the suspects fled the area. About a half hour later, other officers located the vehicle parked at the Meyer gas station, occupied by three Milwaukee men, all of who are 18 years old. The officers observed property consistent with thefts from vehicles, and upon questioning, the men admitted that they had come to Sheboygan overnight to steal from vehicles. Officers are in inventorying dozens of items of property seized from the subjects and based on the items discovered it appears that multiple thefts have occurred in many neighborhoods across the city. Officers will be contacting owners of the property that could be identified but any other residents who become the victim of the theft from the vehicle are encouraged to contact the police department at 920-459-3333 with any description of any missing property. All three men were referred to the district attorney's office for charges of theft and attempted theft as party to a crime and were taken to the Sheboygan County Detention Center in lieu of bond. A man who allegedly took part in several vehicle break-ins in Manor to Walk is due back in court. 18-year-old Jesse Garcia is due in court later today, and he is accused. Um, he and two other suspects are accused of breaking into vehicles on the Manor to Walk's north side. Garcia faces charges of theft from a vehicle and felony bail jumping. One of the other suspects is 37-year-old Jesse Helling, who is charged with a theft from a vehicle, carrying a concealed knife and receiving stolen property from a child. A third suspect was also taken into custody last week. Helling is due back in court on December 2nd. Voters in the city of Sheboygan 24th Ward will have a new polling location. The Licensing, Hearing, and Public Safety Committee last week voted to approve an amendment in the city's municipal code that will relocate the polling place from Senior Activity Center to Bethany Reform Church. That location, according to the city officials, is closer in proximity to the Ward 24, and last night the move was approved by the city common council. Eligible donors are being offered a $5 Amazon.com gift card for those donating blood now through December 18th. The card delivered via mail will be made available thanks to Suburban Propane, a nationwide marketer and distributor of propane products. Donations take about an hour and you can save about 15 minutes by using Red Cross Online Rapid Pass system in advance. You can sign up for that, find nearby blood drives, and make appointments by visiting redcrossblood.org. The next local blood drive is scheduled for this coming Friday from 10 until 3 at the Sheboygan Trades and Labor Hall. Kohler's historic house in the woods, the Valder House, is, will display many other houses and artworks beginning Friday, November 29th, during its 23rd annual Gingerbread Festival. Over 8,000 are expected to view the creations, all handmade by local schools and community groups, while musical performances add to the atmosphere on Saturdays and Sundays during the event, which runs through December 30th. 
The events sponsored by the Kohler Foundation are free to attend, and the gingerbread houses, sculptures, and artworks will be awarded prizes based upon visitors' votes. The 23rd Annual Gingerbread Festival is the Valder House located on 1100th West Riverside Drive in Kohler from November 29th through December 30th. Sunday through Friday is 1 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. and Saturday is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All events and activities are the, at the Valder House are free to the public. Tours are offered daily at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. throughout the month of December. Valder House is closed on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. Group tours are available by appointment by calling 920-453-2851. Visit KohlerFoundation.org for more information. And finally, repairs on Sheboygan's 8th Street Bridge begin today. The City of Sheboygan, in cooperation with Piper Electric Incorporation, will be repairing a faulty underground electric, electrical feeder that feeds the 8th Street Bridge. This requires 8th Street to be closed between Riverfront Drive and Indiana Avenue. The suggested detour is to use the reopened Pennsylvania Avenue, 14th Street, and Indiana Avenue to get around. Work is scheduled to start today and be complete by the week of December 2nd, 2019. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.